Today, I am, uh, if you just, uh, if you're new to follow me, I'm a physical therapist from the Tampa area. I've got a clinic where everybody's failed everything or almost everybody's failed everything. And all I treat all day long is basically a few diagnoses um, and they're usually mechanical issues. Um, I get 99% of those people better and 99% of them out of pain immediately. Um, and I do that um, because most of this stuff, most of these people are misdiagnosed. Most of these people have been had it for 20, 30 years, these mechanical back pain issues. Um, I have uh, made a lot of discoveries. I published root cause SI joint dysfunction last year. I just published uh, root cause plantar fasciitis. Um, that also includes uh, Achilles tendonitis, shin splints, anterior tip tendonitis, um, also works for Severs disease. So um, that's five or six now protocols that you should have that you should be able to, um, to immediately, you know, to be able to help these people with these conditions. Okay, so having said that, I'll talk about not one of my favorite subjects, which is the AC joint. And the reason why I am not an AC joint fan is because there is nothing that crosses the AC joint up here that we can like stabilize to bring it back down. So I'm not a fan of the AC joint, but um, anyways, so there's two main things that you could have. You could have, uh, you know, a separated shoulder where you tear the ligament on top and then you get the step deformity. Quite honestly, um, one of the big things that you have to do there, well, the taping works, leuco taping it back down helps. Uh, and then, you know, um, you got to fix your posture. You got to strengthen the periscopial muscles. Um, and also when it comes to the AC joint is the, um, is, uh, so the AC joint comes right in here, right? And when you're, this is my left shoulder blade here. So it kind of comes right into there and touches. So when your shoulders are forward and protracted like that, it jams the AC joint. But when you go back like this and fix a person's posture, then it opens the AC joint. So that's how I treat arthritis. I treat it with my myofascial method, boom, get them out of pain immediately. Um, and I treat it with, um, you know, you got a same way that I would treat an impingement syndrome. Um, you gotta get, fix their posture, strengthen and stretch, um, stretch here, strengthen in the back there. If you take my rehab results course, I give you the sets, reps, everything of what exactly what I do in here. But um, that's essentially how, how I treat it. Now, um, how do you diagnose it? So a lot of, so when, so a lot of people will, will um, you know, move the shoulder and, and say, oh, the person says they have shoulder pain, but you gotta look at where they're pointing to because this is bicep tendon, okay? This can be slap tear right here, but this right here up here is AC joint, okay? So you gotta look at the exact like finger that they're pointing to. So what I'll do to find out if it's AC joint is I'll bring it across their body like this and jam it, which is the opposite of what I do with my treatment is to go like that, okay? Um, so I'll jam it and find out if it hurts there. You can either have them raise their arm up, um, but um, the other thing I'll ask them is, does it hurt when you lay on that at night when you sleep? Um, because it's a common complaint is that I've had that before. I had, I had arthritis in my AC joints when I was early 20s from high school, college, football workouts, the whole nine. So um, anyways, um, you got to fix the person's posture. Now, let me say this is that lately I've been seeing people talking about the fact that you don't need to fix people's posture. Like when I saw that, I, I'm dyslexic, so I thought I had read that wrong. And, um, I know, but apparently that's like a thing now and that there's no evidence that fixing people's posture is important. Um, I literally can't believe I read that. But what I would say is take an impingement syndrome patient, okay? Superior impingement syndrome, okay? And their shoulders are like this, okay? And they raise their arm up and it hurts. Then have them put their shoulder blades back and down like that and have them raise their arm up. And a lot of time it goes away immediately. What did you do? All you did was fix their posture. Same thing with uh, AC joint issues. So if somebody's, you know, get AC joint pain, if you pin their shoulders back and down, now have them lift their arm up, boom, the pain magically gets better. Same thing with uh, neck, like central protrusions, when the person's like that. You have to fix your posture, guys. This isn't theoretical for me. This kind of reminds me of the whole SI joint debate, if you want to call that a debate, years ago. People that have followed me from the beginning, I don't know if, if you were on here from the beginning, but 
I started looking online and they were like, you know, the orthopedic establishment has settled science that the SI joint doesn't move and that, and that nothing can be done about it. Go get it injected or fused if, if physical therapy doesn't work. And I'm sitting there and I'm reading what these people are saying and I'm like, that's not true. And I'm like, I've been doing this 10 years. I, all I treat basically now is SI joint. It works every time for me. I get them out of pain immediately and then, you know, pull gap, you know, and then stabilize it with the SI protocol. Anyways, when I first, you know, saw that, it was like, no, the science is settled. This guy's a fraud. Don't listen to him, right? And, you know, I mean, my comment section was filled with these people, my colleagues saying that, right? And I'm like, you people have no idea what you're talking about, you know? So anyway, so that's when I published my SI protocol and shh, everybody went silent because it proved that that's how it works. And now we all get the same results. So I see this kind of narrative starting again, where it's like, you know, like people go into the literature and they start reading and they say, you know, no, there's no evidence for this, but the evidence is right in front of your face. Put the shoulder blades back and down, okay, with the impingement syndrome, okay, pin it back and down, and magically they can raise their arm up without pain a lot of the time, okay? That's posture for the <laughs> Like, you know, like, I, I just couldn't believe I was seeing that. But anyways, you gotta fix a person's posture. The reason why most people hover around 80% success rate with shoulders, and I'm at 99%, is we're doing the same exercises, but you're not fixing their posture. Now, another thing you can do is go like this, and, uh, have the person go like this with their shoulders forward like they are, right? Have them try to hold, resist you here. You break them nice and easy. Pin their shoulder blades back and down and they say, now hold. And watch how much stronger that they are. I mean, it's like marked increase in strength. That causes overuse syndrome, okay, in the shoulder, all right? So it is beyond important to fix their posture for neck and shoulder issues, okay? Like I am up my patient's butts about their posture. I'm like, shoulders back and down for the rest of your life. You know, that's paramount, um, you know, and if they're not gonna fix their posture, I start warning them that this may not work. You know, like if you're, like, like I literally tell them, like if you don't fix your posture, it only works 80% of the time, you know? Uh, but if you want 99% success rate chances, which is what I get in here, fix your posture, you know? So uh, shoulders back and down for the rest of your life is beyond important, okay? Um, so, I'll publish a paper on it. I'll publish a paper on it one day. But um, but anyways, um, it's if you if you go into that left brain and you just look at data, you're gonna come out with the SI joint doesn't move. You know. But if you pull on the person's leg and gap open the SI, boom, their pain's gone immediately. Then they went from a, a, a you know positive prone press up to a negative. What do you think happened? It moved. You know, like it's, the answers are right in front of our faces and you can even feel it move. Put them on their side. I can't believe we're still talking about SI joint, but put them on their side and then push on the ASIS and put your hand on the other, th like fingers right on the SI joint. You can literally feel it gap open and move. Like, so in the same thing with when it comes to posture, it's just pin the shoulders back and down and boom, their impingement syndrome is relieved. <laughs> you gotta fix your posture. Anyways, man, don't get, don't get too involved in the left brain. Look at the human in front of you, okay? Fix people's posture, okay? Shoulders back and down for the rest of their life, all right? Neck pain, shoulder pain, the whole nine, all right? Um, AC joint, also CBD rub. You can rub some CBD on there. That helps those people, especially if they're having trouble sleeping. Um, but beyond that, that is what I got for you today on AC joint rehab. Um, I don't like AC joints, never really been a fan of them, but I will obviously treat them, but I don't like them because I can't really correct it. Um, I can't really correct, like, I can't correct the step deformity, you know, there's no, it's just tape. I can't do it, you know? Uh, so if somebody tore the ligament and they got it, you know, up like that, you know, I wish there was something there, you know, that I could pull it back down with, but I can't, so. Anyways, that's how I treat that. Um, and, um, but I have it all in my rehab results course if you wanted to. I don't know, most people see, see a guy on here talking about, you know, orthopedic stuff. I also have all kinds of courses, like I've mapped the body, thousands of connections in the body that exist at certain joint angles and angles of pressure that serve as off switches for pain immediately. I have a sciatica, cervical radiculopathy course that works about 80-ish 80, 80 percent of the time, most people would say, wipe out sciatica, cervical radic immediately. Um, and then uh, a bunch of other courses. I have my business course uh, where I teach how to open a results-based clinic and teach you what to do, everything. I have my rehab results course, which is my orthopedic protocols course, 
which is uh, what I do in the clinic. Now you have two of my protocols, which is my SI protocol, my plantar fasciitis protocol, which also includes Achilles tendonitis, shin splints, anterior tip tendonitis, and also works for Seavers disease and some lateral, uh, lateral uh, ankle issues, not sprains, don't use it for sprains. They don't need more mobility, uh, but some uh, like lateral impingements in the, in the ankle or perineal injuries, put it on the protocol, try it, see if it works, usually does. Anyways, that's the uh, culprit there. All right, so that's that. Peace.